We all know to set up a network system with multiple devices like the access point or IP cameras can be hard. There are many design and options you can choose from, but which one is suitable for your situation? Today we received a case from one of our customers, and here's what happened. Our customers has a warehouse divided into three areas, and the distance of the furthest area is up to 800 feet. His initial plan is to put the core switch at first area and link switches to the second and the third area to form a daisy chain network. Because for each switch of the area, he will install indoor plus outdoor security cameras and wireless access points. But since daisy chain will generate many problems, so we don't recommend this setup plan. And we decided to provide an alternative plan which is using the single fiber optic cable instead. And we only need to pull one single cable to avoid the daisy chain. So today in this video, I'm going to tell you the reasons why we don't recommend the daisy chain and how to solve the problem with a single fiber optic cable. If you have a problem with your system design, please feel free to follow the link in the description below and send us your problem. We'll be more than happy to solve your problem for you. So let me explain why don't we suggest the initial plan which is using the daisy chain. The daisy chain will generate latency. The main network will have to pass through all the switches before it gets to the edge devices, so it's a long way to go. Also, daisy chain will create a single point of failure. That means if one of the switches is defective, you will lose all the devices after that. And the system diagnosis will be a difficult thing to do. In the start topology, we can always remove the switches and to rule out the possible cause. But now all the switches are changing up, so pinpointing the problem source will be a tough thing to do. In this case, we suggest to use the single fiber optic cable. Now, it can provide high speed, low latency, and long distance, so it's perfect for our situation here. Now, the maximum distance by using a fiber optic cable can be up to 18 kilometers, so 800 feet won't be a problem at all. So the fiber optic cable uses light to transmit data, so it's much faster than the electrical signal that used by the traditional Cooper cable. It allows a faster data transmission speed and reduced latency. Now, let's move on to the demonstration board and I'll show you the whole setup and explain it along the way. So here we are in front of the demonstration board. Let's see what will we need today. First, we will need a WebSmart fiber PoE switch. We'll have three of those to pretend the three areas. Now, what is special about this switch? It has the media converter already built into the switch. So this is what a media converter will look like. And basically, it converts the electronic signal into optical signal. And since our switch needs the, optical, the electronic signal to power the device, so we need to convert the signals. Now, we also need the SFP transceivers. This transceiver is where you connect with the fiber optic cable, but it's sold separately because normally you have to determine which type of connector or what type of fiber optic cable that you use. Maybe it's a single mode, maybe it's a multi-mode. And also here we have the coupler. We will need the coupler to join two fiber optic cables together and it's designed for quick connection and easy to use. It will help to maintain the optical signal being transmitted between the fiber optic cable free of interference. Also, it's waterproof. Now, without saying, let's begin the connection together. Let's pretend we are at area 1 where our customer put his core switch and other devices. And this is the fiber optic cable that we are using, it has 4 strings. And we don't need to worry about the connector because it's pre-made and 100% tested in the factory. The fiber optic cable also comes with pulling eyes on both ends, which is the protection of the cable while installation. Now let's do the connection together. First, we are going to put 
two SFP transceiver into our fiber PoE switch because in the in our customer situation we need two of those. We have four strings, so let's pick string A and B. It has letter on the string, so you won't mix up. For the spare strings, if you want to add other devices, you can use the spare string and always add additional media converter. Now, let's connect the cable. Let's use the cable to connect the router with our switch. So everything is plugged in. Now area one is all set. Now we are going to area two. This is a 100 meter fiber optic cable and for area two, our second switch is already powered up. Let's put in the SFP. Remember we use string A and B. Now let's pick A to connect to the second switch from the first switch. All right. And the second switch is connected. Now let's try to connect with an SS point. Let's pretend this is the access point that our customer will add in the area two. And we can see the integrated light is on. So the setup in area two is done. And remember we have string A and B. Now we are going to use the string B to connect with our third switch using the coupler. This is the coupler that we talked about. It looked like this, but I took out the middle part for the quick connection. Now, this is the fiber optic cable from the third switch. We are going to use, let's use string A for this one. And now it's connected. This is the string from the third switch. For the first switch, we decide to use the outdoor fiber PoE switch. This is IP67 waterproof, so it can operate under harsh environment. Now, let's take string A, this one, and connect with our third switch. All right. Now let's try to connect an IP camera to see if it worked. Over here. All right, so it's already plugged in. Here you go. Now we see the indicated lights is about to come on. The camera is all set. So now the whole setup is done by using the fiber optic cable and the fiber PoE switch. So using this method can avoid the daisy chain and we just use a single fiber optic cable throughout the operation. Now, the third one, we chose to use the outdoor version fiber PoE switch because remember our customers needs to install some devices outdoor. So if you want to know anything about how to use the outdoor fiber PoE switch to install IP cameras, you can watch another video right here. So thank you for watching today. I'll see you next time.